Well, here we are at the team bus where the riders are warming up for the team time trial. It's stage two today, and this is the team time trial. This is where all nine members of the team ride together as a single integrated unit against the clock over a set distance. And this year's team time trial is only 23 kilometers, which is much shorter than previous tour editions. It creates a different uh, dynamic in the team itself. And the most important thing about the team time trial is that to be successful, the team has to work together as a single coherent unit to be able to put the best effort forward. No longer does individual talent really guarantee any success. It's all about the team's ability to be able to work together, which makes this such an extraordinary event. And in regard to team, and a family is a team, a business is a team, there are three different elements that are extremely important to have that allows a team to be able to function at its best. And the first and most important element is agreement. There's got to be agreement between all team members of exactly what the objectives are and what people's roles are. And when we have that level of agreement, then it's possible to be able to create outcomes that are not possible by just the addition of the team talents alone. And most of the team members here have really been selected to be part of the tour team, not only based upon their individual talent, but also their ability to be able to function in an individual team setting. They have the ability to be able to give up a part of themselves on behalf of the team that allows them to transcend themselves. And one of the challenges that all teams and all organizations and businesses and families have is that if there's a little bit too much self-interest, then what that does, that compromises the entire effort because it's impossible without everybody being in agreement to be able to put in a top performance. It's absolutely impossible. So agreement is by far the single most important element in terms of creating the maximum team effort. Another ingredient that's necessary here in terms of creating best team cooperative effort is also technology. It's extremely important that new and innovative technology be part of every dynamic, whether it's a family, whether it's a business, whether it's a professional sports team, because if we have great agreement but we have no technical skill and we don't have the latest technical innovation, then we're going to give up something in terms of innovation to other teams and other people. So the bicycles that you're looking at here, in terms of development costs, wind tunnel testing, etc., are valued in excess of $200,000 each, which is an amazing testimony to the commitment that the teams have in terms of creating performance excellence. Another element in team dynamic is the element of reality, and the reality that I'm talking about here is that each and every year the riders are a year older physically and mentally and they also have additional team staff that may have changed during the off season. And the importance of that is, is that one characteristic of all champions, and certainly a hallmark of the champions blueprint, is that with the team dynamic, that we never make the assumption that those procedures that created success last year are any guarantee of this year's success, because the personnel and the circumstances are different. And the only way to get to the top and stay at the top is to be continually reinventing self and team by implementing new innovation, not only in terms of personnel, technology, but also in terms of the methodology of embracing new ways of doing things. And that's basically the secret. And guaranteed that the team that wins today will be that team that most successfully integrates those three different elements. So this is Dr. Jeff Spencer from the warm-up area of Stage 2 here at the Tour de France. The team time trial saying please check back often for new tactic updates. And until then, ride big and ride strong. And we'll see you on the road.